Hey, I'm Enno and I come from the very exotic Germany and on my channel you can find tutorials, short movies and vlogs. So yeah, stick around. Now, have an awesome day and enjoy this fresh episode from Cars and yeah, bye. Did I just sell myself for a couple of subs? Mm. Hey guys and um, welcome to my newest episode of Sony Vegas tutorials and um, today we are going to uh, take a closer look on the so-called hyperlapse. It's just um, like a time lapse, but instead of um, just laying the camera down and then waiting for a couple of, uh, of minutes or even half an hour to finish it, you actually move the camera every frame of the hyperlapse. So before we start, we have to do some minor uh, important steps. Uh, one of these is actually to measure it, how many photos you want to take or how long your hyperlapse uh, should be. So in my case, I actually just uh, wandered around in, the, in this uh, place and just measured it how many um, steps I would take because it was the only measurement I got uh, while doing this. It was kind of improvised but uh, nonetheless it worked. So I wandered around the, the place and uh, counted about 150 steps. Each step would be then one picture or one frame in the video and if you do the math right you're going to see that's about five seconds of screen time because 30 pictures or 30 frames is one second of video time normally and then when you do this this hyperlapse you have to do this consistent not like take one picture and then wait a couple minutes and take another one and then again wait like half an hour because then the picture is going to be really choppy like for example the clouds uh, which are in the sky are going to be there and then there and then maybe again there so you have to do this consistent like picture step picture step picture step yeah so let's look at look at this little uh, sheet and i'll tell you how they did it and then we see us in post. That's the point we are uh, going to focus on, the little statue in the middle of the place. Here are we going to uh, start with our uh, first picture, uh, that's my camera by the way. But before we actually start we have to measure it. Like I mentioned, um, I counted about 150 steps I would uh, take to go half a circle on the place. After we finished that, um, we started with the pictures. I did one step at a time and focused on the statue. Oh, thanks for the focus. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, the whole time. And yeah, that's it. I forgot something to mention. Um, a little thing, a little important thing. Uh, you have to shoot this in manual mode because. Um, the lightning and everything else has to be uh, the same every picture because otherwise it would be flickering or like when you shoot time lapses on uh, automatic mode. So keep it in manual mode. So before we start, we have to actually do some new settings to Sony Vegas. If you go to options, preferences, editing, on new still image length, we have to type in 0.03. So every picture is already transferred in in one frame. Now we have done that, simply uh, import all the pictures we've taken and see how they look. Yeah, that looks alright, but mm, it's kind of shaky. So yeah, I know it's my fault, so there's one more thing we can do. But before that, we have to render it. I'll do it in 4K. After we've done that, simply delete all the files so the game is clear again. Well, I do this and import the trash taken video. Now right click on the video file, go into Media FX, select Sony Stabilize, then just type in whatever you want. Uh, the more you type in, the more it will be um, smooth, but it's also going to be more zoomed in, so that's that. Yeah, I'll just go with uh, 0.2. Now, let me just check the video if everything is fine. Uh, here actually you can see that I didn't always keep the camera in the same position. Sometimes it's a little bit turned to the right or turned to the left. But yeah, that was my mistake and if you do this you can do this better and it's going to be more smooth. Now, that's it. That's your time lapse. I'll just add a little bit more um, color grading and see how that looks and then I'll, I'll be back. And here you go. You just created your very own uh, hyperlapse. Congrats. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope I could help. Don't forget to leave a like and even sub if you are new to this channel. I do this uh, regularly, um, like every week or right now, every other day. So yeah, uh, see you in the next episode.